Hello, we are back with a small update, nothing major major, um, the smallest things take the longest time. So we're just going to have a look at the brush that we've been de-rusting. So this is what they look like when they come out of the de-rusting solution. You can see all the little pits and the areas where it's been eating away all of the rust. Um, that, that's what's sort of left of the rust. Uh, then we etch prime them. And then we paint them. So most of the brackets have been done. There's one that's not done. Um, we've got most of them done. Um, a few of them didn't survive the process and ended up with holes in them, unfortunately. But what can you do? We've also got this out of the uh, near side rear quarter. I don't know if I remember. I did. I showed you the tide mark in the boot from the rust that was there previously. Well, here's the collateral damage, unfortunately. Uh, this is the TV tuner, uh, and this is the Bose amplifier. You can see a tide mark here where water was sitting in the amplifier. Um, I'm surprised this worked, actually. It did actually work, and it worked most of the time. There was a few blitz and blobs every now and then where it used to just play static at maximum volume, which was quite distracting when you're driving, I must say. Um, <laughs> but we have a new one of these to go in. We're not going to replace the TV amplifier because uh, it's analog. The only useful things on this were the auxiliary uh, video and audio inputs, but we've got that going through the head unit anyway for audio, and I don't really plan to watch any videos in the car. So this bracket will be cleaned up and will make it look nice and shiny. Um, let's have a look where we are underneath the car. So we've gotten everything off underneath here. As you can see, the area around the fuel pump package is nice and rust free because it was covered by the bracket. Um, but essentially everything has been taken off the bottom of the car. So if I do a little sort of just a pan round. Could be art this, couldn't it? Only, uh, only us people would enjoy that. And then, as you can see here, we've started sanding down some of the rust. So basically the idea is to get to sort of this sort of pitted surface here. These little dots inside the metal are inclusions of rust that you won't be able to sand out. Um, the rust treatment that we're going to do, similar to what we do with the brackets, will eat the rust in there and then we're going to trap it in there so it doesn't proceed any further. Um, this is the time consuming stuff, as you can see here in the corner. Quite difficult to get that area. Uh, this is quite bad, but no holes yet. Uh, same underneath here, quite difficult to get to, but again, I haven't, I haven't tackled any of the uh, outside stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is the result of about two hours worth of sanding. Um, so as you can imagine, we've got a fairly large amount of work ahead of us. Um, some bits for the engine have arrived, which I'll do in another follow-up video. Um, I've also taken apart one of the ABC struts, which, oh, let me find it, is here, behind hiding behind our aligner. So as you can see, inside the ABC strut, you have a spring, despite what people think, and a hydraulic strut. So um, we're going to be replacing those boots. So this is the old one with the rusty bottom, so we're going to change that. Um, have we done anything further on the car in the engine bay? Um, all the ABC lines have come off. So everything down here, all the way along, the only thing left are the two brake lines. Um, these brake lines are actually in pretty good condition. They go all the way up here. Oops, sorry, they go. These brake lines are actually in pretty good condition. They go all the way up here. Um, and then they go along the side and then into the ABS pump. Now these are a little bit scabby, whether I choose to replace them or not, I don't know. I mean, they're really thick, the brake lines, that, 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 it'd be a shame to have a little bit of rust left, but you know, you have to draw the line somewhere and what, um, it's quite probable that I'm going to replace them though. Everything on the front has come off here, all the ABC valve blocks have also been removed. Um, so there's a few little bits more in the engine bay to go, but it's nearly completely stripped. Um, the only other thing I've got to take out is the coolant pipes and brackets and things. Um, these are the quick releases on the front that I was telling you about. They are never going to come off. I've just cut the lines with a pipe cutter. Uh, it's important that uh, you don't sort of fill the system up with swarf. So yes, things are progressing, but slowly, unfortunately, because this is the slow bit. Um, I did manage to find, however, a replacement 
pipe full of popular fuel tank. Don't know how I found that. Um, digging around EPC, it said not applicable for this car. I ordered it on the off chance and uh, it turned up and it's the same. So I had to put a new breather, a new uh, actual tank filter strainer thing in as well because the other one fell apart. We'll replace all these fuel lines, either the breathers and the return back to the tank. Um, nothing particularly sort of super interesting today. We will be taking apart the supercharger, painting the surge tanks and stuff in the next instalment. So keep an eye.